Hey boys, Commander Frank here. I hope you guys are having a good time. This is week three, and I hope you guys are doing the videos and doing the work. Okay, your commanders are taking a lot of time to do these videos, and I hope you guys appreciate them. Well, Easter was last Sunday, and I hope you guys had a great time. But let us never forget the great sacrifice that Jesus did for us up on the cross. So it doesn't matter, boys, what we've done. Jesus uh, loves us. He cares for us. And there's nothing we can do that can separate us from him. Okay, so continue to work hard there at your house. I know we haven't seen each other, um, but we will soon. And I promise you guys, we're going to have a great camp out once we do. All right. I hope you guys are doing the big five challenge. Okay. And uh, we're going to have uh, Commander Eric uh, coming up and he's going to be uh, giving you guys a little help on some exercises that you can do to, uh, to better yourself and get ready for that. Okay, so be watching out for that. Also, um, uh, this these coming weeks, uh, hopefully we'll be nearing the end of this virus. Okay, so just remember to uh, keep positive, do your homework, listen to your parents, and we'll see each other soon. God bless and take care. All right, boys, go ahead and stand up. Put your right hand over your heart, and we're going to say the pledge to the American flag. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Two. Next, we're gonna say the pledge to the Christian flag. Put your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the Christian flag and to the savior for which kingdom it stands. One brotherhood uniting all true Christians in service and in love. Two. Put your right hand up. And we're going to say the, the pledge to the Royal Ranger flag. Ready? Begin. With God's help, I will do my best to serve God, my church, and my fellow men. To live by the Ranger Code, to make the Golden Rule my daily rule. Two. Thank you, boys. You can have a seat now. Hey, Ranger kids. How you guys doing? It's Commander Frank here. I know it's been a while since we've seen each other. But I have a special guest and he's been he's been lost for a little bit, but he's back. And guess who it is? It's JB the Beaver. Okay, and he look at him. He has his mask. He's taking his precautions. So should you guys. Okay, continue to wash your hands. Put a mask on if you guys uh, go to the store, and uh, just be safe. Okay, continue to help your parents out. Right, JB? Yep. Continue to help your parents out. Be good boys. Listen. And I guarantee you guys, everything's going to be okay. And we'll see each other soon in class, okay? So God bless you guys, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Hi, Ranger Kids. We are back for week three. Yes, three weeks already. How time flies. Mm -hmm. So today we have another story for you. It's called, Paul Had a Job. And his job was to tell others about Jesus. So Paul was uh, born in the city of Tarsus. Tarsus was a very fun place. Mm -hmm. Kind of like being born in Disney World. Oh, wow. Yeah. It was so fun there, so cool. So he grew up thinking he was such a cool person. Much cooler than all the people that knew about Jesus. In fact, he became a bully. At one point, he would stone people. He would beat them up and make them go to jail just because they believed in Jesus. Wow. Yeah. Not a nice person. Not, not nice at all. Um, one day, Jesus had it enough. And he said, Paul, why are you acting this way? And guess what he did then? What happened? He shined a very bright light into his eyes. Huh. Like this? Mm, yeah. Wow. Yeah. And then? It was a, 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 such a bright light, much brighter than the sun, which made him blind. Uh, at that point, Paul obviously wanted his sight back, and um, he repented. And he decided that he was going to follow Jesus. And so Jesus allowed him to have his sight back after three days. At that point, Paul said, well... I might as well learn about this Jesus that everybody is so uh, enthusiastic about. So he prayed 
He would fast. Do you know what fasting means? Yeah, quick. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, not that kind of fast. Not that kind of fast. Okay. What other fast? You know when you don't、uh, eat meals and instead you pray. Oh, okay. And you learn, or you learn to listen、uh, to God's voice. Got it. So he would do that, and the more that he knew about Jesus, the more excited he became to share about him with others. So he would go everywhere and talk about Jesus, like a missionary. What's a missionary? Missionary are people that go to different parts of the world and they talk about Jesus to everybody. People that wanted to hear and people that didn't care to hear about Jesus. He would talk to everybody. Um. So he became a new Paul, not the other Paul, a good Paul. But this time, people didn't like him. So they did the same things that he would do to other people. They would stone him. They threw him into jail, and、um, one day they planned something very evil. So, while he was in Damascus at、uh, a house,、uh, they were talking about Jesus. The people there had gotten a message from God that they were going to kill him. Kill who?、Uh, Paul. Oh wow. Yeah. <clears throat> so they came. These men came, and they knocked at the door. It was、wow. not a very friendly knock, so they knew these are the people they want to take him. So what they did was they lowered him, they opened the windows, and they put him carefully in a basket. This is a very tall building, so they had to be very careful to lower him, otherwise they were gonna drop him and he was gonna die. So they lowered him very carefully. And then he was able to get out of the basket and flee Damascus. Jesus was not done with him; he needed to fulfill his job. Wow! To continue to talk about Jesus. Yes, we all have a job. Did you know that? Like、uh, go to work type of job. Yes, except <clears throat> these jobs are within the church. Some are Sunday school teachers.、Uh-huh. Some are pastors. <clears throat> Some lead worship. Some work with cameras and sound. And you know, even greeters. Did you know that's a very special job? That is. No matter <clears throat> what your job is within the church or within the community, God has a job for you. So someday you are going to be a future pastor. Maybe you like to play music, so you will be part of the worship team. Maybe you are very friendly, so you will greet people when they come to church. Or maybe you are very good at just、um, praying for other people. So one day you will have to choose a job like Paul. He had a job, which、um, his job was to take Jesus' message all over the world. That's a nice job. Yeah, I like that one too. So I have three questions for you. These are very easy. Okay. It's a true or false. True or false. Okay. Question one. Paul at one time. Hated Christians, but God saved him. Hmm. I'm gonna say that's true. Yes, that is correct. Good, good, good. Good. Paul taught that Jesus is the Son of God. Well, at the beginning, he didn't like the Christians,、Mm-mm. so he didn't believe that Jesus was the Son of God. Right. But after he did. That's right. So I'm gonna say true. Good again. Very good. Awesome. Last one. Paul was lowered in an elevator to get out of Damascus. An elevator. Oh, I know they lowered him out of a window, but I don't remember an elevator. So I'm gonna say false. Correct. There weren't elevators then. What was it? It was a basket. A basket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. Three、right. for three. Yeah, you did awesome today. <laughs> All right. Well, again, we're we're sorry that.、Uh, And we can't be here with you guys,、uh, or that you guys can't be here at church.、Uh, we were supposed to take a tour around the around the church and walk around the different、uh, areas of the church, so you can see a lot of the different um, um, like departments and the the ministries.、Um, so, like Commander Myrna was saying, you know, there's there's pastors and there's teachers and there's、uh, singers, worship leaders. And、uh, you, you know, if we were to take that tour around the church, you could see all of that. 
you know, other commanders, different classrooms and all that. Um, so when we come back, uh, we're able to, to come to church again. Uh, we'll take that tour and we can see all the different aspects, all the different parts of the church. So you can see, well, I don't have to be, you know, a, a commander. I don't have to be a, a pastor. I have, you know, different options. But God wants us to be a part of the church. God wants us to have a job and, and you know, be a leader in whatever uh, ministry that is. Mm -hmm. So um, we have one uh, one last uh, Bible verse for this merit. Remember, we're, we're working on the antelope merit. So we have one more uh, Bible verse for this merit, and it's in Romans 12.10. Romans 12.10. And by the way, the book of Romans was written by Paul. Oh, that's so an interesting fact. He, he wrote a lot of the New Testament, a lot of the letters that he wrote to, to people as a missionary. Uh, they ended up becoming part of the Bible. So one of the things he wrote to the Romans was, Be devoted to one another in brotherly love. That is Romans 12, 10. Be devoted to one another in, bro in brotherly love. So just like the story that you were talking about, Commander Myrna, where Paul and his friends were having, you know, Bible study in his house. Mm -hmm. um, you know, they, they were watching out for Paul. Mm -hmm. They found out, you know, they were, that the, some people were trying to kill him. So, you know, they were devoted to making sure that Paul was safe so that he can continue to spread uh, Jesus' message. And so they helped him escape, and he continued to, to talk to people about Jesus. Okay, so that's our Bible verse for today, Romans 12, 10, again. Um, and remember, you got to keep working on the clean body merit. So hopefully you're continuing to wash your hands, uh, take showers, brush your teeth. And that last, remember you had to come up with one more thing to do at home? Well, we have another idea. Oh! <laughs> this is J.B. the Beaver. And JB, what is he wearing? Uh, a mask? Yes. That's a mask. It's a face mask. Right now, it is very important to keep clean, including wearing these safety masks that will hopefully help prevent the spread of this virus going on. Yes. So, you can, you know, there's a lot of YouTube videos on how to make these masks. Or, or you can wear a bandana. Or, or a scarf. Right. Anything to protect yourself. So, do your part and stay safe awesome so if you go out there you go that's number four you wear a mask or some sort of face protection okay so make sure we're already on week three like commander Myrna said we got one more week to finish that one month of uh, clean body merit so keep working on it and uh, fill it in and hopefully your, your your parents will sign off on it or you can just bring it to us when we get back and and we'll make sure that everything's good to go so until then, again, we're praying for you guys. We love you. We miss you. And uh, until next week, we'll see you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.